Yo, what happens when you pour hundreds of hours into a passion project for a community you love, only to see someone take that work and strip your name off it? Well, this is my story, and it's about the PicoCalc, a tiny hackable open source computer, and me, a developer named Jay Blanked. When I made a simple request to get the credit I was owed, the story took a wild turn, and the very community I was supporting turned on me. Today, I'm digging into the forum flame wars, the copyright allegations, and a community backlash so intense it raises questions about open source culture. Because this is not just about a few lines of code, it's about credit and respect. First, to understand the drama, you need to understand the world it happened in. Now, the PicoCalc is a niche, DIY-friendly handheld made by a company called Clockwork Pi, and it's built around the Raspberry Pi Pico, which I really love, and is pretty much a dream for tinkerers and coders. But like any piece of hardware, it's really only as good as the software. Well, this is where I came in. I ordered my PicoCalc in March of 2025, and about July of 2025, I received the device. And I started a project that I hoped would become the heart of the PicoCalc scene called PicoWare. And PicoWare is an open source custom firmware that I believe completely revamps the device. This wasn't just some theme. I wanted to build a full blown OS with a desktop style interface, um, some animations, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth scanning, file manager, uh, on device app store, some classic games, and even a social media network to connect with the Flipper Zero community. I was all in. I lived on the Clockwork Pi forums, posting updates frequently, uh, making video tutorials, and talking directly with the users. I wasn't just building firmware, I was building a platform, and I was doing it all in the open. Now, I licensed the PicoWare GitHub under GPL 3.0, and trust me, that detail is going to be very important later. This is where the story gets messy because the repository was eventually deleted. So, let me break it down. About three days ago, another developer released their own project for the PicoCalc that was based in CircuitPython. The problem? It used code lifted directly from my PicoWare project without giving any credit. Okay, let's talk about the license. Now, GPL 3.0 is essentially a copy left license. It means you can use code from a GPL 3.0 project, but your project must be open source and you have to credit the original creator. It's the legal foundation of open source collaboration designed to stop people from taking free work, rebranding it, and locking it down. When I saw my work was being used without attribution, I did exactly what the license says you should do. I reached out and simply asked the developer to add the proper credit. Now, this definitely wasn't a lawsuit or a demand for money. It was just saying, hey, give credit where credit is due. But what happened next was stunning. Instead of just adding my name to the project, the developer first went and changed the file names and driver names. Their story and reasons also changed once they were caught in the action. Luckily, I still have a picture of the GitHub commit where the user tried to change the name from PicoWare, as we obviously see, to just PicoCalc. And to make it all worse, after I pointed out that the names were changed, the other developer apparently deleted everything. The GitHub repository just vanished. It was literally all gone. Now, to many, that might seem like an omission of guilt, but for a loud part of the PicoCal community, the story was just beginning and I was about to be recast from contributor to villain. Like literally almost immediately the narrative flipped. Instead of talking about the alleged copyright violation, a part of the community aimed their anger at me. Suddenly the debate wasn't about the license or the code, it was about my tone. Like I, the developer asking for credit was reframed as a bully. One person said, did J-Plank just bully a dev out of a cool project? 
And another followed with saying that a petty argument that didn't even need to be an argument caused a loss for the community. Like, really think about that. The loss wasn't the act of taking code without credit. It was that the project got deleted after I asked for attribution. My completely reasonable request, backed by my own project's license, was dismissed as a petty argument. I was being blamed for someone else's choice to delete their work. The guy trying to uphold open source rules was now the bad guy, accused of policing the community and scaring off new talent. But in all honesty, this hostility wasn't a complete surprise. While the Clockwork Pi forums were often great for collaboration, they had a toxic underbelly. Like literally a few weeks prior, a separate drama was unfolding with a teenage developer, Astro X, who was working on an OS uh, called Astro Lexi Lyra. Now, when some users felt that Astro X wasn't taking their advice, their frustration turned into open ridicule, which led to them creating a parody thread just to mock the kid's project. Notice how in these drama situations, it's usually the same few community members who are just openly rude and have no intention on bettering the community. It paints a picture of an environment where personal attacks and a blame the victim mentality were possible. And it was in this climate that I, a dedicated contributor, was being attacked by my own community for simply asking for credit I was legally owed. So how did this all get resolved? Well, the short answer, it didn't. The project that used my code is still gone and the community is left with a fractured, confusing story. I have many updates planned for PicoWare still, but this experience left a scar. This story is a perfect example of the nightmare challenges that open source developers face. And it shows a painful paradox. We are encouraged to share our work freely, but when we ask for the simple, legally required courtesy of attribution, we risk being called aggressive, petty, or a bully. The GPL license is supposed to shield against this, but a license is only as strong as the community that respects it. When a community decides that avoiding conflict is more important than the principles of open source, the license becomes almost meaningless, and then the burden falls back on the developer. So you're not just a coder anymore, you have to be a detective, police your own work, and just absorb whatever social backlash the community throws at you. And honestly, this whole mess also reveals the dark side of small niche online communities, where they can feel incredibly supportive, but they can also become echo chambers uh, where mob justice and personal grudges overwrite the facts. When a few loud voices can twist a copyright issue into a personality problem, everyone loses. And talented people get driven away, either the one who got burned trying to protect their own work or the person who allegedly copied the code. But ultimately, the PicoCal copyright class is a cautionary tale. It pretty much proves that the health of the open source community isn't just about downloads or code, it's about how it handles conflict. And it's about whether it defends its own rules or decides to eat its own just to keep things quiet. So what do you think? Am I the bully for asking for credit that I am legally and ethically owed? Or is it on the community to build a culture where giving credit is the default, not something you have to fight for? Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm Jay Blanks. Thanks for watching. Peace.